In one of my most favorite games of all time, you're given a choice to pick between nine different classes. One of these classes is the Engineer. I'll admit I may have some biases when talking about my favorite TF2 class, but I just love playing Engineer way too much. I think one of the coolest things about the Engineer is how much his role changes in relation with the game state. You can go from a pure defense class focused on nothing else but maintaining your sentryness to a battle engineer actively in the front lines, supporting his team with heals, ammo, and teleports. I'm not going to teach you how to play engineer, since there are already a selection of videos that do that job, and they do it a hell of a lot better than me. Instead, we're going to be discussing a topic that's interested me enough to make a video about, weapon concepts. More specifically, ones for the engineer. As a class that strives with how creative you can get, he has had people creating some pretty cool ideas for him. I'll first share to you two weapon concepts that I thought up myself. I call them the Ranger Boots and Radigan's Revolver. If you browse the TF2 subreddit actively enough, these two pictures may seem familiar to you. I posted an early version of these weapons to the community many, many months ago. They were ideas that had been floating in my head for quite a while and I've been aching to share them on YouTube. I'll go over the first weapon, the Ranger Boots. Coming in the primary slot, the boots give you an additional 15% movement speed, 10% resistance to explosive damage, and plus 25 max health on wearer. With the added movement speed, you'll be running faster than your typical engineer, even while hauling. The explosive resistance will hopefully assist in keeping you alive, since the engineer is quite often the main target for demo men and soldiers. The major downside, of course, is that it takes away the engineer's shotgun. Even with all these upsides, losing your main source of damage is quite detrimental. It would require a good secondary weapon to make up for it, and this next item covers that. Radigan's revolver comes in the secondary slot and replaces the engineer's pistol, Radigan being the grandfather of the engineer in the comics. Let's go over the stats one by one. Significantly higher damage is admittedly vague, but here's what I came up with regarding the revolver's damage capabilities. Each bullet from the revolver will have a base damage of 60. It'll have a maximum damage ramp up of 90 and a maximum damage fall off of 32. The weapon also has the stat of 50% faster deployment time, which is of course a reference to the quick draw a cowboy would have. Its two downsides are the negative 25 max health on wearer, which is fortunately negated by the boot's health bonus, and the slower firing speed. Another important thing to mention is that the engineer will reload all his shots at once and the gun will have an accuracy more consistent than the spy's revolver. To put it simply, the pros of the loadout are as follows. It gives the engineer a better primary weapon in the form of the revolver, faster movement speed to quickly traverse across the map, and explosive resistance to better improve his survivability. The main con I see with this loadout is the lack of a secondary weapon to work with, since you'll only be having the revolver. Now, you might be thinking, why can't Radigan's revolver be put in the primary slot and the ranger boots in the second? Wouldn't it make more sense that way? Well, I have two reasons. First, a 175 health battle engineer with explosive resistance, faster movement speed, and a shotgun would be problematic to say the least. Second, and this just might be my pet peeve, switching the two weapons means you can equip the pistol and the revolver at the same time, which is just weird. Looking at you shortstop. The only thing I'm concerned about in terms of balancing is using Radigan's revolver in conjunction with a panic attack and gunslinger. The faster deployment speed of both weapons will make it deadly to take on an engineer in head-to-head -head combat, but hopefully the negative 25 health makes it easier for the engineer to be taken out. As for the boots, I think the balancing there is good since using it with anything but the revolver will render it ineffective. Players have longed for an engineer revolver, and various members of the community spent effort into making models for a revolver. Implementing it in the game would go a long way into making this class more fun, and would complete the cowboy aesthetic. The following weapon concepts I'll be sharing originate not from me, but from other corners of the TF2 community. To introduce the next idea, let me show you this. I am in love with this image. The idea of the dispenser backpack is not new. Uncle Dane created one way back in 2018, calling it portable provisions and even giving it its own stats. I think that this would be honestly a really balanced way to make Engineer a uh, support, like give him kind of a support subclass without overstepping the medic's role, because the medic's role is direct healing of each person that you're standing next to. Having something like this will greatly expand the engineer's supportive tools, and it's without a doubt something I'd really want to see in-game. 
To wrap it up, let's make our way to our last weapon for the video. And this is the one that needs to be in the game the most. For as long as TF2 has existed, the engineer and his PDA slot has remained empty, lacking any unlock. This is something that should change. Give the engineer a new PDA, one that changes the function of the dispensers and teleporters. It was leaked during the Jungle Inferno update that Valve was playtesting a community-created item called the Handy Partner, as well as a mini dispenser, both of which are made by the same user, Neodos. In the same vein as the mini sentry and mini dispenser, a lot of people pitched the idea of the mini teleporter, but I don't think a mini teleporter makes much sense. If a PDA unlock was ever to be worked on, it should instead include mini dispensers and speed pads. The speed pad is among the list of scrap TF2 buildings like the catapult, the spy trap, and the repair node. I personally think it'll make a great addition to the game, as it would greatly complement the aggression the gunslinger encourages. The way I imagine how these two new buildings will work is this. Similar to the mini sentry, the mini dispenser builds 3 times faster than a normal dispenser and can't be upgraded. It'll have the same stats as a level 1 dispenser with the only difference being it has double the dispensing range. The speed pad will again build 3 times faster than its teleporter counterpart and cannot be upgraded. The recharge time of the pad will be 5 seconds and when activated it'll give the user the speed boost of the disciplinary action. As for the metal cost of both buildings, I think they should remain the same. The addition of these two buildings is a must in my opinion as it would make maintenance a hell of a lot easier for the battle engineer so he can focus on being more active in the fight. And that's it. Those were all the weapon concepts I had to show you for now. Keep in mind that it's not like I'm gonna suffer much if none of these ideas were ever added into the game. Engineer is still very much a fun and viable class without the inclusion of these weapons. The amount of stuff you can pull off with the engineer is already quite plentiful without the need for cowboy boots or a revolver. I'm definitely not gonna stop playing engineer or the game anytime soon. Thanks for watching.